Hey guys, welcome back to Walk 2 Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are in the Rock Full of Brains, a collection of asteroids out in the wilds of space. But you might notice that I have only shown you three maps there and there are five asteroids on the map. That's right, we need to go and see if we can not take over one of these two asteroids over here. And I am really, really thinking that it's this one that I want to go and have a look at. Iragul, uh, it's an oceanic world in particular. I am asked after the uh, the poke shells that live in this ocean biome to be able to do that we're going to need to be able to fly a rocket now almost all my rockets are over at Pyaxlin Pyaxlin oh, in fact all my rockets are at Pyaxlin uh, and I don't know if I have the technology to be able to fly there in one go I, f I have a feeling I could build a petroleum rocket but I've got some steam rockets up and ready to go and I've also got the infrastructure over at Blagolia that we spent some time a couple of episodes ago building this uh, this regenerating steam box to fulfill the role of a refueling station so it would be a shame not to make a use of it but before I can do that of course I need to retrofit the interior here it's uh, currently set up for moving uh, uh, puffs across from one world to another. Moving animals is a very, very specific task that needs a certain layout for the rocket. And uh, that's not what we're doing right now. We're going for for an explore. So the thing that we need over here. Hey, Kiri, how you doing? Oh, you're not here to do the work. Okay. Oh, that's a bit. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't mean to watch. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, with, with that disgustingness out of the way, uh, we, we need to put down a telescope over here. If I go and look inside my other rocket, we've got a space telescope set up and ready to go. Three across uh, a certain number high. We can fit that in here with only the minorest of alterations. I think we're going to need to move the pneumatic door over and maybe the orbital collection land, and then we can come up in a direct diagonal over this way. Uh, I, of course, want to try and keep hold of as many room bonuses as possible so we can't move the oh oh this this is not quite as easy as i thought it would be hmm okay i might be mistaken but the bedroom and this room over here whatever it is that we've got it set up to be the mess hall uh ha have some blocks to spare have some tiles to spare in the requirements you can see the room size is 30 and the minimum size is 12 and over here the room size is 21 and the minimum size is also 12 which means we should be able to move these plastic tiles down here we don't have any du the duplicates of course we don't have any duplicates here they're all outside eating uh but when that daytime gets called. Hopefully someone will come along and make all of this for us. I think we're going to uh, deconstruct this one and this one and this going to need moving down of course and if someone could sweep this that would also be great. Oh and they are immediately on it. Wonderful. Ruben coming across. Uh, I would expect to be dealing with the, uh, the animals. She is of course our um, animal husbandry duplicate uh, and there's Curie the person I would have expected to turn up our builder. Okay, a small bit of creative arrangement later. We've got both the telescope and the orbital co data collection lab in place. We do, of course, need to get a whole bunch of plastics up here for that. That's not the main purpose, but it gives my duplicate stuff to do while they're out there. We've got a couple of hundred kilograms kicking around at the moment. I'm not sure how much it takes. Five kilograms. Let's just let's just set that up forever. I, I've got a feeling that's going to be enough. I mean, if not, I did have this, uh, this little box over here that we could just maybe get some duplicates to drop some stuff over all of the duplicates that would be oh, wonderful and then we also need to try and get some food and stuff sorted unfortunately that won't change until oh there are no building restrictions beautiful uh we want barbecue and cooked seafood we've got some in there it's not much we could probably do the same trick as we did with the storage bin but of course we'll just wait for everyone to turn up with the stuff for the storage bin if i hit the alarm they would all drop the plastics that they were supposed to be plank did you really come all the way over here just to pick the plastic up off the floor and put it into that storage bin there i i think he did like i admire the uh, the lateral thinking there but it really wasn't what i was after let's try it again with this one uh, and then we should actually be ready to fly over to Blago yeah, I'm not sure what oh this is for clearing the uh, the carbon dioxide out when we need to that might need to happen at some point now nah, we'll do it now we never know when we could the next opportunity to do so whilst we watch this pump do a stellar job cleaning up the living environment in this particular rocket I'd like to take this moment right here and thank the people that keep my living environment stellar that's right my patrons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names. A list of names of the guys and girls that have gone along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a monthly monetary donation to make sure that me and my channel can continue on into the future and also maybe buy me a drink or two at the weekend. <laughs> 
Right now I'm starting my fourth semester at university and your guys' inputs has really been helpful with making sure that I can keep on with this video series. So uh, thank you so much guys, it really does mean the world to me. Okay, everything back to normal. Let's uh, call in the crew. Let's change our destination to Blagolia. And as soon as Plank turns up, which I'm sure he must be around somewhere, uh, we will get ready. Uh, in fact, have, have we actually settled down on Plank as the crew? Yes, yes we have. Okay, he's arrived. Let's go outside. Uh, we need to add, actually, to this. Let's go back. So we, we, we need, might need to let him back out because I forgot that I wanted to add a couple of rover modules. Indeed, two of them. No, no, no. I, I, I had this little discussion with myself earlier. I, I, I'm going to only send one this time. I'm going to only send one this time. Uh, it's quite hard to build uh, suitable memorial sites for your fallen comrades. It's like hard emotionally. I'm sure. I'm sure you understand. Uh, Rovers, of course, have a uh, limited lifetime battery. Uh, Curie coming along to fix this fast enough that I don't really feel like I need to worry about. Do we feel this rocket has enough for one-way trip, but it can't get back? Mm, you know what? I, 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 I'm kind of fine with that. It, it's more how long do I want to leave my boy Plank here inside the rocket all on his own being uh, ever so slightly bored. He's got light wounds. How did that happen? Well, I mean, he's made of sterner stuff. I'm sure he'll be fine. Uh, let's just pump a whole bunch more in. We're going we're gonna to fuel up on Blagolia as well. I don't know what Plank's going to do when we get over there. In fact, shall we find out? Let, let, we've got enough for one a one-way trip. That's good enough for me. Okay, with all these rockets on constant loading. Wait a minute. We nearly did it again. Where's the rover? Okay, rover built, rocket fueled, battery full, oxygen full, destination set. I think we are finally ready to go. Let's get rolling. It's trying to tell me that I don't have something. It's just the uh, the oxygen isn't 100% full. That is fine. Really need to start thinking about some sort of rocket silo to start collecting all that steam that goes up there. Star map is away. We are going, I mean, we're going for a specific rocket platform with 513. I do remember that is the exact rocket platform we want to land on here. On board, Plank will be flying the rocket. That's pretty cool. But whilst he's doing that, he also comes up and scans around. Uh, does he have the astronomy skill? Oh, can I even give it to him at this far away? Yeah, he's got the astronomy skill. So in the future, when we are on the very edge of the map, we can actually turn off this uh, orbital collection data place and uh, turn the telescope on. And that should be able to give us a view of uh, other places around. Of course, we're only traveling in a triangle between these three at the moment. So we can only see the very... Uh, very outer reaches of what they can see. He's kind of a little bit like a hamster. He comes down, he runs back. Sometimes he'll run all the way to the toilet wall and back again. I don't know what makes him decide whether we do one or the other. Uh, then back to the uh, then back to the collection of the orbital data. Yeah, it, it's quite interesting to behold. But we should really be getting very close to our landing now. Indeed, 20 odd seconds. Let's try and speed that up just a little bit here. Uh, I'm noticing that my top speed has definitely lost a few. Uh, few multipliers there maybe we're running just a little bit too much for the simulation to be holding up with and we're gonna go get another one another asteroid that will be a uh, very very interesting it says flight status rocket is suspended in space with no set destination i don't think that that's actually true because here we come landing down putting most of our heat into the steam underneath i don't know if there's a way to see this is not great if uh maybe maybe we should have made it a bit further down as well but there we go oh plank hey what well, how are you doing that's interesting to see you there Okay, we are here for one thing and one thing only, just a resupply of the steam. Uh, if I could get some water up there, that would also be good. But one of the uh, wonderful things about this particular place is uh, we broke the water system recently and now we're waiting for all these goldfish who appear to be just randomly stuck in the inside of the wall here. But they... Um are they, are they actually going to come out of there? I, I, I hope they are. I hope they are. <laughs> uh, but th we're just waiting for all of this to fill up to the liquid pump now. Uh, we had to break this open because we had a little bit of a water pressure issue, which should now be fixed. Should now be fixed. 
Okay, we are full. In fact, I forgot about this here, and I think we're going to run into a little bit more of a problem. Uh, I had calculated what level to set the engine down to. I wonder if I can turn it down and we just, like, lose some of this steam. What happens inside uh, the rocket here? No, unfortunately not. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, what I was going to do was now turn this all the way up, and we could watch the gas flow into there. Um, but unfortunately, there's going to be... Maybe six left over. I think there were 16 I counted here. I only really left room for 10. Yeah. I mean, we're just going to have to leave those for the the other duplicates to have a go with. Because we need to call Plank back on board. Let's make sure there's still food inside. No, they've, stole, they've stolen all the food. Of course, they've stolen all the food. Okay, a whole bunch of barbecue and seafood have been re-delivered. Uh, we're not going to deploy the, the rover module yet. We are waiting until we're at the right spot. Okay, Plank has arrived. He's still got damage. That is a little bit of a shame. He's going to sleep, but that is fine because we're going to change our destination and we're going to go just here. Three out of ten tiles. We can move ten tiles. That is crazy. Like, do I, do I want to go four out of ten tiles up close against all of this stuff here? This, this, look at this. Uh, and then we could uh, push back the veil of the unknown with the telescope whilst we explore with our rover. I think that's what we're going to do. It's waiting around for, uh, I, I don't know, I wish I knew, I wish I knew what the countdown was. If I could have like a 10, 9, 8, that, that would be amazing. Is there actually, uh, this one, sorry, the automation? I bet, I bet there's something I could do down here that would give us a countdown. Is that not going? Go! Go, I say! Uh, in fact, what, what are these automation tabs? We've got an output, sends a green signal when the rocket is on the platform, launch the rocket, and the other one... When the rocket is ready for flight. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. We're warming up the steam just a little bit more. A little bit more concerned about the large power transformer underneath. But away we go off the top. Oh, it takes a uh, module by module, does it? Uh, hopefully, Plank just getting a good night's sleep uh, amongst this uh, gas overlay here. There's quite good atmosphere we've got for him now, now that we've pumped it all out. Well, I was supposed to have a beautiful little section here where I was talking about how we've approached the asteroid and opened up all this area. But you might notice over here, we've got a brand new planetoid has been detected. That's right. I've discovered a bug. Uh, this is really annoying. And I have I have rolled back through many different saves, gone all the way back to having um, Plank back on Pyaxlin. And this, this planetoid is just now... Now here, it's just part of our game. Unfortunately, I cannot get rid of it. If we go and have a look at it, you can see like there's, there's, there's nothing here. We've, we, we haven't looked at it, we haven't been there, we have done nothing, but it's now just on our map. And I find that very, very disappointing. Clay, you, your game's broken, please fix. But in the meantime, look, Plank, he's, he's doing a telescope target. He is doing the thing that we need him to do. Yes, indeed, he is scoping out the area. I, I kind of wanted to show you that when I got really close, but... I'll be honest, this is this has disheartened me a little bit. I mean, it's kind of robbed me of part of the, the game progression, and, and that's not what I'm after. What I am after, however, is... What, oh, we can't hit deploy because we're nowhere near. What I am after is getting close to Irrigal, uncovering all of these unknown objects. Already we've got a sandy ore field, sandstone, sand, algae, and copper ore. Oh, that's amazing. But we've got to get to Irrigal. This, this this is where we're going. Look, even this close, I'm not allowed to hit Oversea a Planetoid. But this one, yeah, I can hit, hit this. I mean, oh. Why? Why? <laughs> I'm a much bigger fan of playing the games rather than letting bugs win the game for me, you know? Okay, we're making some orbital collection. Um, orbital data is being collected. I think that's what I'm trying to say there. Uh, we've got a bunch of plastic still to be used and the food. I mean, it's lasting, but I'm a little bit worried that it's all going to go off. I, we do have power going into here, so why is this still stale? Hmm... For those that want to know, yeah, we're, we're pushing the magma back. It's going well. It's uh, definitely definitely moving on in a pace. Uh, let's put more tiles back here so that we can rip these two down and uh, know that things are going to get built. I can be quite sloppy up until this line of tiles right here, whereupon we need to start thinking about it again. And I'd really like to somehow dig through there, but that's not going to happen until this gets dug through, and then we can send a ladder down, and we'll pop this open, and all the magma in here that's got pressurized will spurt back. Back up like a proper volcano. Yeah, oh, the proper volcano would be good, right? But I'm actually trying to make my way over slowly, ever so slowly, towards where this liquid sulfur geyser is. And that's how I'm spending my time whilst we're waiting for Plank to arrive. 
Oh, have they changed the rocket background here? Oh, this looks very... Look, look, look at this little sweep of gases here. I'm not sure if this has always been the same when we're out in deep space and I've just been ignoring it, but I feel like this has been... This is different now. Oh, this... this look, look, look at this little cloud back here. There'll be stars collapsing in there, the gra self-gravitationally uh, pulling down towards single points. Uh, it'll, be, it'll be amazing. It'll be amazing. And then it'll, like, the, the stars will fire up, radiation will blast out, it'll make a little hole so that not so more gas doesn't fall fall in and makes just a giant black hole. I mean, yeah, that'll, that'll be great. Let's, let's have a look. How far away are we? 0.8 cycles. It, it's some time. I kind of wish you could see this little bar a bit further out. I, I want to be able to see the whole map and still see how far we are through the telescope. Did that literally just fill up and then not actually do a thing? Do we have to fill it up several times? What, 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 what is the situation here? Let's see if it, it was just me being a little silly. Could, I could have been scanning this one and as I zoomed in and out I lost track. So let's watch this, this bar fill all the way across any moment now. Let, let, let's actually speed this up so we can watch it happen. Okay, and then there, boom. Okay, yeah, I must, I must have just gone a little bit crazy. Still half a cycle though. Man, I, I'm very impatient. 15 seconds until we reach orbit. That is no problem at all, going quite well. I wasn't ready though for Plank to be doing all of this searching whilst he was on uh, en route. I was kind of expecting him to park and then we'd have all this beautiful scanning time whilst our rover went down and did all the business. Here we go, moving over. Rockets in orbit, yes indeed. We're gonna deploy this rover module. Ooh. Oh, this is what not, not not at all what I was expecting. Rovers cannot get through the abyssalite, so let's let's see where we got. We got some some um, uranium over there. Let, let's try and put it down here. Uh, I am indeed. Oh, look look, look at that. Let's, uh, I don't want to I don't want to oversee the planetoid. I do want to see this land. We're gonna we're gonna leave Plank up there for a little while. Oh yeah, look at this. This place is uh, amazing. And the first thing I want to do is start digging into this sandy area. Uh, it was. Oh look. There's a, there's a pip over there. Uh, the poke shells are kind of what I'm after. It can't go through the granite. I remember this being a problem. Okay, we're going to have to figure out that like, we could go down here maybe. Can it make ladders? I think it can, but not until we can get to some dirt and all we've got is granite and it can't dig through granite. All right, cool. There's some sedimentary rock over there. Maybe if we can get down. Oh, no, we can't go through there. Oh, we, we might be in a touch of bother. Okay, I feel like we can get in uh, may maybe this way. Let let's see what we can do over here. Here's the granite. We're going to dig up and over. Maybe maybe we'll be coming through this way, actually, and uh, that would uh, enable us to go through. What I'm trying to do is get down to this sedimentary rock whereupon I should be able to start building some... I can't, even, I can't even just like skim the top off of there. Uh, where we should be able to build some ladders. Sedimentary rock we can build ladders out of. And poke shells have been found, but what else are we going to be able to find here? That is the question. Let's go and also make sure that uh, Plank is doing some work. In fact, we don't need to look inside the rocket. We need to look outside the rocket and see what's going on. Everything seems to be fine. Eregal, um, wait, waiting, waiting for the new rocket platform to be built. Oh, look. Oh, we could go in here. There's some granite, but we could probably go in this way. Look, here, bleach stone. Yeah, it's not going to let us in like that. That's a shame. So, granite, granite. Mm. There's, there's going to be a way in, but I'm not quite sure what that is right now. And we, we need to discover. Look, there's stuff underneath this granite. Okay. Absolutely nothing available to make in any of these tabs yet. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm glad we brought the rover to do this rather than just having a, uh, a, a duplicate who wouldn't be able to do anything. I mean, that would be hilarious, but also kind of frustrating. Oh, is this actually the direction we want to be digging? We can't dig the bleach stone, but we should be able to get some of the sedimentary rock from out of here. And literally the moment that gets got, we can start building a ladder way down. I feel like... I feel like this is the route down this way and then maybe we can start digging across. I mean, there's so much granite. I'm not sure how we're going to get maybe maybe actually coming through this way is the way and then we can start digging up some dirt. Oh, look, there's oxy ferns here. Oh, that's good. That that gives us a method of oxygen generation for our duplicates. You can't you can't go that way, can you? But but we've got a ladder. Let's 
But we've got a ladder. Come on, let, let's put the ladder down in place right there. Okay, and away the rover goes. Uh, I want to be looking at the battery life here. We're already like five kilojoules through it out of 180. There's not, it's not a lot, but it's enough to make me worried. Much like the granite. There's not a lot, but it is enough to make me worried. <laughs> okay, the question is, can we fit through this gap? That That's, that's a, a very poignant question that I have right now. If we can fit through the gap... I feel like we can go exploring. If we can't fit through the gap, we're going to have a bit of problems. Let's uh, wait and see. It's all going to be about whether he comes along to do these. He? It? Them? Uh, yeah, that, them's probably the winner here. Uh, let's dig, dig, dig. Oh, we actually have some access to pincher pepper. So food does exist here. Okay, that's that's good as well. That is very good. You've not done that. Unreachable. Okay, so that might be a problem. Okay, so these, if you hit the little show navigation button on your rover, will tell you exactly what he can go this way, or they can go this way. Why are we not, why are we not going down this way, my friend? Why? Yeah, much better, much better. Okay, awesome, awesome. So if we're going that way and getting the rocks, now I need to figure out, I mean, this is all pretty, yeah, uranium. <laughs> this is all pretty, uh, pretty dangerous over this way. I feel like duplicates are going to come in here, make use of the water, make use of the oxy fern. Uh, this will be where we keep our duplicates. Okay, that, that, that's fine. That's, uh, I don't know when we're going to be able to get to that today. I do want to, but, uh, we, I'm not sure how we can even, like, ro can, can rovers make rocket platforms? Not with the, uh, materials that we've got at the moment we of course need refined materials and uh, do we have any fine re refined materials here no i do like the way the rovers bark uh, <laughs> this weird little streak of abyssalite here i wonder what's supposed to be here I, I i've got a feeling it's not a border between two <laughs> two ocean biomes and it might but i doubt it there's another little blob of abyss light. Anyway, my main aim at the moment is just to make sure the rover can get everywhere. You can see we're going to like dig this little little lump off. Unfortunately, that's granite, that's granite, and this is granite. So we're not going to be able to make a perfect little way through here. But hopefully we can get down and through this area. I'm not sure whether a rover can jump up this or jump down. I know, I know a duplicate would have no problems, but this is not a duplicate. This is a rover. Uh, let's uh, see the navigation. Yeah, it says that it could be fine. And how is the navigation doing? All the way across the top here. What was that? What, what, what did we get? What did we get? What just happened? I don't know, but it took took the navigation prompts away from me. Uh, I would like to go up this way. I don't want to let this pip out yet because he's just going to die in the vacuum. Oh, I don't know. It seems to be okay. There's, there's not a great deal of gases in there because we've already got space exposure. Maybe, maybe the pip will be fine. Uh, and then we'll just go around and like drop all the, the water... Uh, the, Drop all the, uh, the water weed everywhere, or at least plant it. I'm not sure whether pips can plant wild water weed in areas where it can't be supported. You know, like the, the fact that it needs uh, water to thrive. I'm not sure whether the pip would be able to do that. Oh, the rover lander, of course. I forgot that this is actually made out of steel. I should have sent two so that we could build the rocket pad. That's why we should have sent two. Mmm, 800 kilograms, and it's almost like two rover pads at 400 kilograms would have done it okay well i mean that's fine but i also believe that the rovers can't actually build the rocket pad it's, is it too high tech for them i cannot remember i cannot remember let's dig up these sedimentary rocks here and put some uh, building materials right where the rover needs it and are we gonna be able to come down uh, this way yeah down into the dirt let's start seeing what the uh, the bottom area here has to offer not enough materials that's fine i'm fairly sure we're gonna make more as we go along look at all this sedimentary rock indeed just over here in fact if i do this bam all these materials cannot dig the fossil turns out you need a duplicate to dig fossil very um not helpful our aim of course just for the rest of the episode i think is just, just to get as much of this uncovered as possible our rover has a limited lifespan as i've said many times 161 out of 180 let's also go and have a look oh we're getting radiation sickness of course we're going to be getting radiation sickness I did not even consider that for Plank. That's a bit of a shame. We've uncovered all of the... Look at these. Organic mass, algae, slime, dirt, polluted oxygen. Uh, we've got an interstellar ocean, salt water, brine, salt and ice. Oh my gosh, the organics again. Uh, and a slimy... Like, we, we're going to have to build a pretty uh, comprehensive flight section over here. Uh, and with most of that exposed, let's see if uh, we can actually... Ooh. Food on Blagolia? Wait a minute. 
We've got a pressure issue here. Okay, all of our dust caps are low pressure, but we should be eating nothing but. I th I think Swan Levitt's arguing. Uh, arguing. I bet she's in the toilet. Ah, why do you do this to me, Sw uh, Clay? Like, really? This is this is like a bunch of bugs all in one go now. We we've uncovered a an asteroid that I've never been to, and of course Swan Levitt is just going around getting really angry at the amount of food she can't eat, despite the fact that there is food everywhere. Uh, we've also got all this carbon dioxide down here. If I just move this gas pump up one like so, uh, in fact, I'm gonna deconstruct this and. And we'll move it up afterwards. Hopefully, we could just do that like this. Yeah, let, let, let's let's hope for that. Uh, Got to move that up like so, and then. Am I going to just do this on, on the deconstruct? I don't I don't know. But I think the majorly important thing is the fact that this whole area has been sc scanned out by this telescope. Planck cannot do any more. So we're going to come to the star map. We're going to go, hey, could you change your position and maybe go back home to Blagolia? Okay, great. That That's going to take a couple of days. Whilst we uh, we'll figure out what this uh, this rover's going to be doing. I would have liked to have moved Planck straight down here. But, uh, yeah, problems. <laughs> You know, the best thing I like about rovers, they don't need any sleep. So when nighttime gets called, this guy just carries on working. All about it. All about it. Let's uh, put the, another ladder there and maybe a rover can go up and... In fact, I want to put it there. And maybe our rover could jump, jump and go mine out this uh, the rest of this area. I've got a little bit of a pathway planned out. Oh, and look how far we can go. Okay, this is this is great. We've got, uh, we got a bit of uh, sedimentary rock. That's That's fine. It's the granite we're worried about, but I should be able to sneak through this way. If not, we can go over this way. Yeah, there's there's, there's plenty of... Oh, I say that. We can't go through the bleach stone. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Can't go through the fossil either. Mm. It's all right. I'll get it. I'll, 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 I'll expose this whole area. Look, there's there's a thing here. Oh, should we, should we cheat? I don't, I don't know if I want to, but I'm going to anyway. Uh, a cool slush geyser. Yes. Okay. That that is beyond helpful. Uh, that will be how we um how we keep our our entire colony up and running. Water is indeed the most precious of resources in this game. They say oxygen not included. I, I lie. Oxygen is very much included. The water can be a bit of a problem though. Ah, I picked the one place with fossil to try and dig through. Ah, I, mi I missed that. I missed that. Let's uh, let's go through here instead. Let's uh, actually up the priorities on that one because my uh, my rover seems to be running away to go dig. Okay, that that's actually all right. That's actually okay. I've also set up this whole ladder system here so that when the rover does the the, the full exploration around this way, which is what I want to do first. I want to go around, follow this abyssalite line around. It's gonna it's gonna come down this way around here and and join up to here somehow uh once we've explored that i would also like to then open this up because i think this is where my duplicates are gonna have to stay with the cool well, at least this is where we're gonna have to set up a uh, a food and oxygen line oh look it kind of kicks back this way and we could carry on down further i want i wonder what's down here Rovers are legitimately OP. I think the next time that we go and try and take over an asteroid, we'll just have a rocket full of rovers. I'll just fill it up with as many rovers as we can. We'll land them all down and see if we can't just, like, empty the asteroid. I, th I think that'd be good. We'll, we'll just leave everything behind that only the duplicates can dig, but we'll, like proper zoom out get my g key and go whoop i'm not going to do that now because that would send this guy crazy but that that that's what i think we'll do with one of the next asteroids we'll, we'll, we'll be like this is the robot only asteroid <laughs> yes but much like mars in real life it will be the place that we've uh, we've already given over to the robots and we just we just have to learn to accept that it's not a biological rock anymore i did forget that all the hydrogen would be venting out of here at the moment it's mostly carbon dioxide but there is some hydrogen as well can we build we cannot build a door we've not actually made our way to any metallic substances well i guess we'll just say goodbye to the hydrogen for now i suppose we do have a decent water supply so it's uh, it's not a problem if we if we need to make hydrogen we can make hydrogen oh, oh what have we got salt water geyser all right great that's that's also good that is also good completely uncovered by the way that's that's nice that's nice sedimentary rock underneath we're just gonna carry on down as far as we can go and this biome just goes and goes and goes are we are we gonna run into any lava at the, oh look we could get in through the bottom here as well okay that that's interesting so this ladder could also connect up with all this via the magic of the salt water geyser okay that that's cool that's cool that's gonna be a little bit awkward but still pretty cool awkward like these two bits of granite 
granite and bleach stone here, stopping me connecting all these ladders up. Ooh, there's a whole bunch of walls down here and a pedestal with some something on it. It's it's got a thing, maybe a, a DNA strand. Okay, that that's cool. We can't go through the fossil here, so let's uh, let's go down this. It won't it won't let me place. Why won't you let me place? What's go? Oh, we got a we got a water weed. Okay, let's uproot that. I, I, I couldn't even see it. It was very thin. Uh, and then we'll carry on down like this again. I'm just gonna carry on moving this ladder down this way as well as we can, and we'll go left. Ah, oh, I've hit the abyss. Like, well, that's a, as far as that will go. Uh, but then we'll like trade left and right, uh, move, sorry, left and right as we can. Uh, oh, like, look at this area. We've got some arbor trees. So we get, we're going to be making an ethanol distillery then, looking at the amount of arbor trees we've got. Uh, and also, some way, oh, oh, the Gravitas Monument. Uh, uh, some way of uh, harvesting all the water systems we've got around. Yeah, this is going to be great. This is going to be a great little place to live when we can actually get our juice duplicants over here let's uh let's mildly flood this area oh look there's uh big errands here what 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 are we what are we complaining about uh plank hello how far away from being home are you uh 0.8 cycles you know what i think you're gonna be okay in 0.8 cycles i don't i don't think you're gonna starve i really really hope you're not gonna starve 0.8 of a cycle he uses a thousand so oh i mean that's it's gonna be close. <laughs> Let's just say that it's gonna be real close. <laughs> The, the rover's got a whole bunch of jobs to do. Let's just leave the rover doing that for a little bit. I mean, oh, look, here's, here's all the... There's the beehive, the beta hive, sorry. Okay, that that's cool, that's cool. A little bit little bit uh, worrisome. Oh, look, look, this one's just popped into existence as well. Uh, they're going to go along and eat all the uranium and turn it into refined uranium inside the beta hive. And I'm not sure what happens when they run out, but that means we're also going to be making uh, some some nuclear power over here. I mean, that, that would be cool. That would be cool. Back to plank. It's problems. It's problems. And I don't know. I don't know how to fix these problems. Yeah, we're definitely pushing this place to its maximum right now. Plank. Oh, I'm, I'm really worried about the fact that you've got no food. Really worried about the fact that you've got no food. I, I just, I, I need you to get home, my friend. I need you to get home. 0.6 cycles is, um, I mean, it's still a lot of time. But thankfully, it's not quite as short a time as oh, is he gonna starve as he's landing is that is that really what's gonna happen there i could totally see that i could totally see that okay the the, the rover is where he needs to be to continue our beautiful journey onwards uh worried i'm very worried I wish there was a way of telling Plank to, to be chill, not spend so many calories. Just be like, okay, maybe you can just go sleep this whole time. I don't know whether duplicates actually burn less calories in their sleep. I don't I don't think they do. I think this is a, a real life thing. Uh, but let's once again look outside. How long? 0.4 cycles. I mean, that's that's around here where this, this asteroid is, right? Hmm. Crater, not asteroid, crater. Okay, he's halfway through the calories of the day. Oh, this is really bad. This is really bad. 0. 0.3 cycles. Oh, I, I hope he's going to make it. I, oh, that, that's all we've got at the moment, though, is hope. And that is not a good way to run a space program or indeed a colony. Uh, okay, so we're just about to uncover this pedestal. We've also got a lot of water down here. That's fine. That's fine. Let's have a look at this pedestal. Can we, like, take... We can take stuff off of it. Okay, that's, that's interesting. Interesting. Uh, in fact, I'm not going to dig any further in this direction. I kind of want to go over here. Uh, this is going to be very moist, though. Uh, do I do I want to try a different route? If we if we kind of go up here, can we get to the top? Uh, that's that's the most top we can get. Uh, I'm worried. I'm worried about how much spillage we're gonna have, but I, I think this will be fine. I think if it all drains down into here, I don't think that's gonna be the end of the world. I mean, the end of the world is like just over here on the side. Look, there's what. Here's one end. There's the other. We know what the end of the world looks like, and this is not it. We are over 50 units of our chemical battery through, though. Uh, it would be nice if there was a way. You know, we've got salt water, we've got chlorine, we've got lead. Can I not make a lead acid battery for this guy? Can we not just make a new battery? Uh, that that would be very handy. It's, look, look, ah, the, the, I was about 
about to say, oh look, there's a little triangle to click, but actually it's not It's not like these triangles, it's the triangle that says it's going down. Alright, fair, fair enough, fair enough. What have we got over here? A security door, a bunch of ladders, there's not, there's not actually a great deal going on over here, but we're, we're going to go check it out anyway. Uh, when our rover's here, jump down two, jump down two, and walk its way over. Yeah, we should be alright to just dig this lot out. Uh, this is granite, can we get over the granite? Maybe if we deconstruct that tile there, that's a... Uh, an interesting shape that has formed here. <laughs> 88 seconds left on the ship. Ah, uh, man. I mean, I could I could abandon, but I don't think we need to. I don't... 200. Oh, my gosh. I do not know what the calories per second is. I could work it out. It's 1,000 divided by 600, right? That's uh, that's how quickly we, the cycle works. It's 600 seconds to a cycle. Um... Mm, okay, well, I mean, uh, the, the, this is this is edge of my seat stuff. We've got a minute. We've got a minute. Okay, I'm just going to sit here and go through the minute as fast as possible, and then we're going to what we're going to watch him land, and then we're going to basically watch him die on Blagolia, right? Because uh, I, I I don't know whether there'll be food for him, or even if let's slow this back down and go to hey consumables. Let's see what Plank is actually able to eat. Hopefully, it's just a bit of everything. There's there's no ticks here. Why are there no ticks anywhere? Cooked pack fill it and I mean what, what we want is the barbecue and the cooked seafood right Every, everything else can be like no uh, fried mushroom just in case all right there we go we got, we got a whole bunch of stuff that you can eat when he goes back to Blagolia in two one okay let, let, let's go oversee the planetoid I, we, we need to watch him go and get some food ideally without killing himself that that would be great come, come on let's land this rocket plank is let's have a look down to his last hundred calories. Ah. We're gonna land. Okay, here goes the landing. That's fine. I'm I'm just worried that he's gonna literally starve en route. I don't I don't know how we can get him to to, to like chow down before he even gets there. Uh, plank. Uh, 90 calories. Let's fo follow this. 89, 88, 87. Oh my gosh, really? Really? Is this, is this the way? Scolding. I don't care about the scolding. I care about the starving. 75. Oh, it's... it's re where, where are you going with the cooked seafood? Why is everybody running away with the... Wait, wait. I know why people are running away with the food. We'll, we'll get back to... The, like, let's, let's fix that right now. Uh, you. No, no. We, we don't want the food disappearing from this place. But more importantly, Plank... 59 cat. Where are you going now? No. No, here. Pl pl plank. Oh my gosh, that that was Oh uh, yeah, just eat it there. I don't I don't care. Just eat it in your hand if you have to. That that was terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Oh my gosh. <laughs> other other noises of oh. Uh okay, where's my <laughs> Wait, where's my rover gone? Okay, they're up there doing the dig. That that's fine. We were gonna come this way though. I, I assume. Wait, let let's do this. Let's do this. Click show navigation. I'm still like fast heart from 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 plank there. That 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 really like was a bit of a problem. Uh, and now this is sedimentary. We can just carry on digging over this way. Oh, oh, oh look at the way the uh, the bitterlight comes up and over. But that that's the set. <gasps> We've got another one. It's another water geyser. Oh my gosh, we, we are going to be water rich here. But we have pretty much seen the entirety of this rock. And having now seen the rest of this rock and set up a whole bunch of storage bin jobs for my little rover to go around and do whilst we are doing some other things, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you guys next time when we're going to continue our colonization of Irigal here. My main aim, my aim, main aim is to get a poke shell colony up and running so we can have infinite lime. But there's always also so much more that we are going to be doing. So I'll see you then when we're going to do that. Bye. four rocks this makes the outro a bit longer <laughs>